Hey friends, this is No Futuristic Music City Gachi Gang. I'm sitting down with a special guest that I met in NFT NYC, Eric Chan. He is a co-founder of Swapbox. Eric, how are you doing? Very good, very good. Thanks for having me and us uh, taking the time to chat. Yeah, thank you for chatting with me. Uh, we spoke a little bit about Swapbox in uh, New York City, so I would love for you to share your screen and kind of just give the viewers an overview of what Swapbox is and how it works. Absolutely. So uh, we're, we're a small venture-backed company. We're called Swapbox. We're basically making doing swaps um, like 10x better than whatever exists out there in the market today. Okay. Um, doing swaps today is kind of really a, a, a very niche market for people who really know what they're doing today. And the main reasoning is usually just a matter of security. Like I think like pros and experts and f folks who are like really knowledgeable about, about like kind of security and and how blo the blockchain works can afford to do swaps. Um, I think the average maybe NFT collector is, is is doesn't really have the means or 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 the safety rails to do that. And that's exactly kind of the, the type of solution we're building today. Okay, so we partner today with with uh, some amazing communities, NFT projects already today. Uh, I'll show you later in on our on our site that like they each actually have their own swap box on our platform. And uh, what we do is basically we facilitate trading within their own community. Basically, it's kind of like a, a what I'd like to call basically like an engagement re uh, enhancer. Basically, helping you know folks within the same community build relationships um, through trading. So uh, yeah, so we're like I mentioned, we're uh, we're. Uh, you know, venture back company. We have some awesome seed investors who just basically gave us kind of the groundwork to like kind of do this properly. Um, I myself am uh, I'm a serial entrepreneur myself. I uh, went to MIT. I went to Johns Hopkins. I've worked at a bunch of video game companies before, and we've got a pretty like amazing team kind of working on what we believe is just a much better experience to do swaps. So. Uh, without much, much further ado, I am actually just going to go straight to demo. I think it's much easier for us to talk about um, kind of like what we are doing exactly. Uh, I've actually got two tabs here started. Uh, one being one's actually our testing site that I'm, I might be actually like doing some stuff on um, throughout this demo. But here are, as you can probably see here, our domain is swapbox.xyz. Very, very important. That way you won't get fished. I mean, make sure you know, if you're checking our site out, it's swapbox.xyz. Um, so the first thing I'll probably show you is that like actually every project that we partner with actually has kind of their own swap box on our platform. Okay. I'm going to run through a few to give you an idea of what they look like. This is uh, the Froggy Friends uh, community swap box. Um, most importantly, uh, what we allow each community to do is we actually let them basically take charge and take authority into like how their swap box works. And what I'm really saying specifically is they get to like decide which currencies and which collections are actually tradable on their swap box. Super duper important. This way, no one can screenshot some some NFT. No one could basically like trade some NFT that's like kind of not legit or, or or not something that the community wants to be traded on their swap box. Each community can decide. Um, so you can see right here. Uh, the Froggy Friends community, they allow uh, for wrapped ETH to be traded on their platform. Um, Ribbit, this is kind of their ERC20 token, as well as like, you know, their original kind of Froggy Friends official like like NFTs, as well as kind of a different, a different collection of theirs called the Ribbit items. Um, you can see down here, as I scroll down, basically there are like a number of different types of listings. And this is basically real users looking for, uh, you know, looking to make a trade, you know, looking for a kind of a counterparty to make a trade. I'll go into these more specifically in a little bit. Um, I'm going to just kind of roll through a few other like projects just to give you an idea, like how, you know, how it looks for each different community work with. This is the Crypto and Goons community. Um, you can see right here, they only allow for like wrapped ETH as well as like three of their collections, right? It's the Goons, it's the Portal, and it's the Originals. And in the same way, you can see right down here, it's like listings. Basically, in a nutshell, it's like we support like every every combination of trades, okay? One to one NFT, one to many NFTs. Um, you can look for a specific trait. You can say, I'm looking to get into, um, here, here you go, looking for a specific trait. Um, maybe, you know, one for a very specific NFT that you already have in mind, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. And so basically, we've got, like I said, we've got a number of swap boxes, one specific for each community. That way, their community can decide like what makes sense for them, make sure it's safe, and all that. 
One other thing I'd like to kind of bring up, um, cross project swap box, basically it's like the first one right here, trade everything and anything. It's not exactly really trade everything, anything. There's actually a, a particular approved list and it's basically any really legit project will actually be on like approved for this swap box. And I'll show you um, here, I'll show you actually give you an example of what I mean by that specifically, okay? So um, you can create listings. As I mentioned, there are a number of listings from different folks trying to trade. Um, I'm gonna give you an example of some different types of uh, combinations. So here is a test listing or demo that I'm just creating. So this is the title for the, for the listing. You can see right here, I can basically choose the NFTs uh, in my wallet. You know, ENSs are also game for, for trades as well. Um, so I've chosen these two NFTs. I could add a little bit even in my in my in my offer as well, but I'm just gonna gonna hit Nix for the time being. And here, this is basically where you can choose from a different number of combinations. So it's like this is previously I picked out what I was willing to offer. I'm offering kind of my ENS and 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 this lonely pop NFT right here. Um, and I can say I'm looking for any offer. I can say I'm looking for uh, any NFT, maybe even a specific NFT. I'm gonna give, show you, give you an example of what that looks like. So you can see right here, um, I can basically pick out an NFT from like any kind of verified and legit collection um, and, and say, hey, this is the particular NFT I'm looking for. I'm gonna head back just so you can see what the other options were. It's, I can say I'm only looking for uh, to trade into a specific collection, specific trait, as well as kind of like looking for like some amount of currency uh, for this trade. So uh, I will just, you know, randomly pick, I guess, a number of collections. Let's just say, you know, I'm willing to trade that ENS and that Lonely Pop for, for let's say, an Izuki or a Moonbirds, okay? So this was, uh, you know, basically kind of the listing I'm created, right? My Lonely Pop, my ENS, and uh, this is what I'm looking for. So you can see right here, uh, basically now we've created uh, kind of this listing. You know, you're you're welcome to share it on Twitter if you want. It ha will have this URL preview. We actually have even more interesting like memes that we can create out of these listings that uh, you know I could are kind of, kind of really more for more advanced users, but happy to talk about that in a little bit as well. Um, so you can see right here, this is basically kind of my listing, right? I can share it. Anyone who's visiting this listing can basically come in here and make me an offer. Um, I can't make myself an offer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to uh, just jump in into one of the existing bids on our page right now and give you an example. So right here, we've got Mark. Um, he's looking to sell this particular NFT. Um, this particular NFT is like a test NFT of ours and he's looking for any offer. So I'm gonna create a bid. So basically like this is the listing page. It's kind of like an eBay listing. Anyone can come in here and basically make a bid. I'm gonna come in here and make a bid for this for this uh, listing. So the interesting part about kind of this listing right here is that it's actually like on kind of uh, this dots and lines community, okay? So it's this project, this test project that we created for our own, for our own kind of internal testing. Um, but you can see right here, only the dots and lines version two collection is accepted, okay? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back and show you what it looks like when I create that bid. What's going on here, which is super important is you can't see anything else besides dots and lines collections, right? And that way, no one could kind of offer up something that is illegitimate, scammy, a screenshot, none of that. Only assets that belong to that collection will actually show up on both Mark's wallet as well as my wallet, okay? So I am going to offer a, uh, you know, I'm just going to randomly offer some NFTs to create a bid right here. And so everything up, uh, what I've shown you so far has all been off chain. Okay. But as soon as you create a bid, whenever there's a bid that gets created, this is the beginning of uh, anything that is on chain. So this is actually an executable contract. Now I'm, I've signed it. I created a bid. I've sent this to Mark. Um, and right here, what we're seeing here is that like, I've basically made him an offer with for uh, you know, for this, this gray NFT with my two NFTs right here. Um, in this, there's a chat box right here, basically for negotiations. So say, hi, Mark, uh, what do you think about my trade? 
um, you know, he will receive an email notification saying like he received a bid and there's someone else who's like trying to talk to them about negotiate this bid, this, this, this particular listing of his with him. Um, in the case where either of us at any point in time um, believe that the current kind of offer is, um, you know, not, shall I say, like not one we want to make, we can make a proposal. Either of us can make a proposal. I could I could look through Mark's wallet as well and try to up the offer or change the offer in any way and propose basically a new one. As you can see right here, I've kind of changed the offer. I'm going to create this as a, this new bid now, and we'll see actually this page get updated. And it's like now I've basically updated, created, basically proposed a new offer. And you know, Mark has the option on his side to basically accept the offer that I'm already created on chain for him uh, based on, you know, kind of our negotiations. If he, in the case where he proposes something to me, you know, I'll get the chance to accept it. Once it's accepted, it is completely on chain and it's a executed contract. I'm going to show you an example uh, right here of maybe uh, some, you know, what that kind of looks like in real life. So right now we're actually on my profile. I'll come back to our profile in a little bit. I'm just going to look for one of my, my previous trades. Um, don't worry about this. I'm going to show you in a little bit. So uh, this right here is an example of a completed trade. OK, um, it's between me and Peanut. OK, it's a completed trade. And we actually traded, you know, these two awesome and uncannies in this trade right here. And you can basically kind of review exactly what went down in that trade, what the negotiation, what the negotiation negotiation look like as well as you know once a trade go, it, it, it happens you know as well as the e for scan links to exactly what that that you know exactly those nfts being transferred it's all very transparent i think that's one of the key key kind of principles about Swapbox. we believe transparency is helps with kind of with with, with security tremendously so and what i mean by that specifically is that this link right here is the link to basically this particular transaction between, or this, this negotiation between Peanut and I. If I send this link, if I tweet this link or send this link to anyone, anyone could review exactly, can actually see everything I'm seeing here, okay? And we can see everything regarding this, this negotiation we had. That is the case for all trades on our, on our platform. Every listing, every bid, every negotiation is transparent. Um, anyone could, 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 could review it. Um, in the case where I'm in a negotiation with this particular person, Peanut, you no one can jump into this chat and you know kind of and spam it and and, and 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 interact it with it, but they could review it. Okay, um, this is also the case for actually anyone anyone uh, listing as well. So going back to listing, this is this this is the chat uh, between Mark and I. You know anyone could review it. Transparent. There is also a discussion behind this listing where this is a group chat where like any this is something where anyone let's say like i create this listing there's some oh sorry mark create this listing um i had some questions for him um this is anyone can join into this group chat and kind of discuss this chat uh we believe this is really useful because this not only gives it transparency but like now like more than one person can kind of be involved kind of in this listing and in this trade and like uh you know see if th there's something that, that can work out and the main reason behind all of this really is 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 a matter of facilitating kind of community engagement, right? Going back to the idea of like um, any one of these projects, swap boxes is specific to the project itself. So you're actually like trading um, or doing swaps and negotiating within your own community with your own kind of members, with folks that you're already kind of either either you know have some affinity with because of the project you guys are all together in. And it's kind of helping you build these relationships so that whether you're on Swapbox or on Twitter or in Discord, it's like you recognize this is the same, you know, user or this is the real, a real same person that you're actually like kind of, you know, kind of trading or swapping or negotiate negotiating with. Um, to kind of add on to that, maybe even a little bit. Okay. So right here, this is my profile. Uh, you can see that I've actually verified my Twitter account as well as my discord account. Okay. On my profile. And so that gives me a check mark on the, on the website. It shows how many trades I've made. This is my staging site. So it's probably say zero. I'm just going to, sorry, jump into actually, this is actually our, our, our live site right now. Um, you can see all the NFTs I have in my wallet. You can see all of my previous listings. You can see all my previous bids. Um, but I think the key here is that like, now you know exactly like, you know, to verify, it's not just a matter of like, 
typing in my Twitter handle and my Discord handle here, but you actually need to verify and authorize it with each of these platforms. And that way we know specifically that like anyone who's reviewing any trade, if you're a little unsure about who you're trading with, you can look at the profile, you can look at what's in their wallet, you can look at their previous listings, you could look, you can make sure this is the person you think you're talking to because you know there is a verification on Twitter as well as on Discord. So making sure all of this is like kind of for no better, we're really transparent is what we believe helps not just community, but also with security. Uh, I can go into kind of more the more specifics about like what's what's going on here, but I would say like kind of in a nutshell, like what we're really doing here is we're trying to basically like create a space and we're trying to like mimic kind of the the in, in real life experience of like wanting to trade, whether it's sneakers or Pokemon cards or Magic the Gathering cards with you know other enthusiasts, right? We're putting you in touch with other enthusiasts who also already have this same passion or same kind of interest in the same type of project. And like we're, you know, we're 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 creating a place where you're you can do counter offers when you show up and meet some person someone in person to do a trade. It's it's never just that trade going down. Right? It usually actually evolves into something much more based on me looking at your collection, you looking at my collection, you know, a little back and forth, kind of making counter offers and, and proposals to each other but until you make a trade. And you know, if you think about kind of like what a community really really is, it's people and we believe kind of facilitating these swaps is another way to basically build community because now you have kind of a, a very kind of different a, a new channel or avenue of, of how you view like uh you know different users or, or other folks within the same community right um and that's that's kind of what we do providing safe place for members to trade within a community yeah uh, that's amazing yeah, uh, I'll say I've like watching your presentation. I was very like impressed with the chat functions. The fact that like, cause I am in the Avogachi community, I'm in the cool cats community. And a lot of times when people are trying to make these trades, they're over the counter and there is no, you know, intermediary. So it, it gets really fishy, but having to parse through a discord chat with a hundred other users also trying to negotiate at the same time is kind of a pain in the butt. Uh, sometimes in discord, it's a little dangerous to jump in into DMS cause sometimes people will impersonate other players and uh, community members. So this solves a lot of that. And uh, having the verifiable uh, accounts, like being able to get your Twitter and your Discord verified, I think is very powerful. Uh, I, I like this a lot, honestly. And I'm going to bring this forward towards the Avogachi community because I think it's something that we can use. Um, so it's swapbox.xyz. Is there anything that we're missing that you didn't discuss? Because I feel like that was a very concise summary that you just gave of Swapbox in general. Uh, you know, I think this is really what we do. You know, I think for us, it's like, look, we believe it doesn't make sense for every community to reinvent the wheel. We just focus on this one service and it's like we're helping fac facilitate community through swaps. Um, that's kind of like the, the, our main focus. We believe like, you know, making like NFTs aren't just about like buying and selling based on a number. We think there's a, like a lot of narrative, a lot of context behind, you know, these NFTs. And we're just, you know, tr trying to provide basically a platform so that like it, it kind of empowers their users to to find more ways to, to you know, engage with, with, with projects and the NFTs that they already love. Yeah, it sounds amazing. Eric, thank you so much for joining me. Uh, where can people find out more information about Swapbox? Uh, it's swapbox.xyz, uh, you know, show up uh you know we have show up, find us on twitter find us on discord uh you know i think starting with our site's probably the easiest way you can probably find the links to everything we do um you know why we built it uh you know how it works everything yeah awesome and also shout out to you because i did meet you at the cryptoon goons avagachi event in uh williamsburg in new york so i saw your cryptoon goons in there and i was like ah it makes perfect sense why he was at the party now <laughs> yep, yep yep yeah they're they're awesome community uh yeah like uh you know, if you have any questions or, uh, you know, like, I, you know, every community, there, I think there's one thing we de I definitely want to, you know, add is, the, and it's that like, you know, we have a lot of projects that do reach out to us about, you know, kind of being, you know, kind of having their own swap box. And like for us, our main criteria on swap box, as far as like kind of like who we work with and how we decide is just a matter of like, we're looking for authentic, good projects, right? It doesn't matter whether you're big or you're small, but we're not looking for anything that is, you know, a little bit not legitimate, scammy, look, looking like a rug pull, we will definitely stay away from. Um, but otherwise, you know, we're, we're you know, we, we believe like 
we're just part of the puzzle to kind of make this ecosystem a bigger thing. Yeah, that's amazing. Uh, thank you so much for joining me uh, and have a great day, Eric. It was great talking to you. Awesome. Thank you.